Go to the Can We Help website, abc.net.au slash canwehelp, or simply send us an email, canwehelp at your.abc.net.au. Manfred Kuhn emailed us saying, television cameras used to be monstrosities. How's technology changed them over the years? Howard Ware has 44 years of television experience. He's currently a TV news director for the ABC in Perth. OK, stand by studio. We're on air in five, four, three, two, one. Openings rolling. Stand by on the floor. And cue. So this is where our newsreader sits, and although I've got two cameras pointed at me, there's no one else in the room. Everything's controlled by Howard outside. So when it comes to news, you're not just the director, you're the cameraman. I'm the cameraman, the audio operator, the character generator operator, the director, the vision mixer, everything. The only other person in the control room is actually the producer, and they have a pure editorial function. Now, I saw you using what looks like a glorified computer game over there. Explain yeah. that to us. That's actually the controller for all three cameras. I can program into those cameras all the shots I require beforehand, any movements I require beforehand, and even have the facilities for uh, moving the cameras around the studio, and they find out where they are from a barcode system on the walls. These new cameras that we're using now, they are designed to be controlled by a computer, whereas perhaps the older com cameras are designed to be used by, um, with people. Stand by, tell us any one and two with news titles, we're all together. Take one and cue A few minutes ago... So that's the present, but what about the past? For that, Howard's brought me to the Wireless Hill Telecommunications Museum. So Howard, what are we looking at here? Well, Christian, this would have been one of the very first cameras that probably would have been used in Australia. Not necessarily this one, but it dates back to around about 1955-56. Um, we've got fixed lenses at the front here on a turret, a different lens for each angle, whereas today you'd normally be looking at a zoom lens, and then the electronic componentry inside the camera itself, and here we're looking at valves. The camera itself is bulky because it had to house this image orthicon, which converts an image into an electrical signal. That teeny-weeny little... A chip there now replaces this pickup device. So if I lose this, I'm basically losing a camera. You are indeed. <laughs> but this camera couldn't operate on its own. So this equipment from right down the end there, and including this small piece of equipment here, and the camera itself would have been just one chain, and there would have been three cameras in the studio, so we'd need three times that equipment. Not long after that, technology gave us this monstrosity. Well, this is one of the very first um, videotape recorders that arrived in Western Australia around about 1962. And as you can see, it's a huge machine compared with uh, where we are today with modern videotape recorders. This is a tape from a modern tape recorder and it records one hour, whereas this tape here is only maybe 10 or 15 minutes. The uh, cost of this would have been around about four or five domestic homes. Ready to queue, John. Recording. Then, in 1975, along came Colour TV. What's actually happened here is that we've put three black and white cameras into one box. And to be able to do that, we've used miniaturization. We've now gone from valves to transistors, so there's less room taken up there. And also the tubes that were in the camera originally are now being replaced by these much smaller ones. Only there are going to be three of them, one here, one there, and one there. And this is still a pretty big camera. You'd have to be a bodybuilder to be able to move it around a studio. And <laughs> rather you than me. <laughs> So it's the 1980s and the camera's finally made it onto my shoulder. What made this possible? Well, it was really the reduction of the tube down to this size and then eventually the dispenser completely and the replacement with this little critter. But this camera still doesn't have a recording device. That's correct. The recorder came along a lot later. Because I remember using one of the first home video cameras and the device, the recording device, was almost as big as me. You had to really lug it along. Nowadays, That's most crews record on digital memory cards, like this one. But today's crew is recording on tape. And believe it or not, we do actually use this camera on the show. It gets us into all those tight places that you couldn't get a camera of that size. So Manfred, we've gone from this to this in just over 50 years. But even though technology is making things smaller, it's still up to the camera operator to get the best shot. Whew, 
Times have changed. You should see some of the snazzy equipment we've got at the Can We Help office. Speaking of snazzy, it's time to go and meet that snazzy woman of words, Kate Burridge, at the local library. Oh, I've got a handful of questions I'm going to ask her on your behalf. It's going to be fun. How was that? Yeah, it was good. I'll just check the tape. Sound all right? What? 